the Hit Girl series. I love these comics. They're so fun and like really like punchy and just like, you know, the gore is so over the top that it's not really that gory, if you know what I mean. And each time she finishes a proper book, she can get a comic um, to kind of chill with and then she can start her new uh, book. At the moment she has finished Harry Potter and she's moved. This is Jen ASMR unboxing. Subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there. This evening I have a comic book haul for you guys. I've been meaning to do this for quite a while. I bought these like maybe a month or two ago. My daughter has already read this one and this one, this one, and probably this one too, I'm not sure. Um, over here though, these are just my ones, so I, ones that I don't pass on to my daughter. You'll see why. <laughs> um, yeah, so I went to my local comic book shop. And I got a few, like, of the next edition of each of the, the comics that my daughter, my partner, and everything follow, and myself, and a few new things too. So I'm probably going to do this in a two-parter, because I have comics and then I have some manga. Um, and then this month for Patron, um, this month, probably last month by the time you see this, um, the chosen um, theme was comic book haul, so I'm going to save some for Patreon too, for Patreon, for the patrons. <laughs> so this is just number one of two or three of your patrons. So, Les Sisters is like um, a late childhood early teens kind of um, comic book, mostly for girls, about two sisters that love and hate each other. Um, mostly love each other, but get on each other's nerves, if you will. And it is quite popular in France. I honestly have no idea if um, they sell these in other countries. Blue edition. So with my daughter at the moment, we have a little deal going on. Um, I bought a few comics for her. These ones and the others. And basically, I don't give her them all at once. I wait until she's finished a real book, like a novel or like a, one of the Harry Potter books or, you know, like a proper book. And each time she finishes a proper book, she can get a comic um, to kind of chill with. And then she can start her new uh, book. At the moment, she has finished Harry Potter and she's moved on to the... Um, what is it called in English? It's like Guardians of the Lost City. Lost City of Guardians, something like that. Les Gardiens des Cités Perdues. In French. She reads in French. Um, these are also all in French because I do live in France and my daughter is French. She speaks English too, but like um, she was, you know, she's brought up in France, so it's her first language. And um, these are really cute. They're very like silly little jokes and little pranks and like, you know, like they're hanging out together, having fun. And then there's little, you know, the younger sisters usually annoying the older sister or a lot of like, mom, mom, you know, it's really cute. I think it's quite wholesome. 
she likes it. So I got her number three, which she has already devoured, and number four, which has also been devoured. That's cute. And there's like a heart around them in the snow that's being like made by the, the little dog dragging the what looks like baby carrier with a little stuffed toy. W-M, I'm guessing that's their names, like, what are their names, like Wendy and Mindy or something, I don't know. I haven't actually read any of these, I probably should. So here, merci Marine de ne pas te défouler sur les originaux avec tes gros feutres à paillettes. Et merci pour merci de ton aide Wendy pour la mise en couleur des derniers planches William. So the guy is William, the guy that wrote and probably did the color. Um, is called William and he said thanks to Marine, Marine, which is probably the younger girl. Um, thank you for not. Um, drawing on the originals with your big um, glittery pens and thank you for your help Wendy for um, helping with the colors and the last um, planche it's more like the, the last I don't know what that would be called I, I know what it means but like the last like scenarios maybe like a technical word when you're talking about like comics and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's very cute. So I'm guessing they're loosely based on his daughters. Okay, so this next series of comics or BD, bande dessinée, as they call them in France. They actually make the difference between French made or European made comics, like these hardback comics, and like Superman and DC comics and all that kind of um, side of things, like American comics. They call them actual, they call them comics, and then these are bande This is kind of like a Middle Ages comedy, kind of silly, um, silly humor. And it's actually my partner that started reading these, and my daughter absolutely loves them too, so that's something that they share. I still haven't read them. I just picked up the next ones because I know that they enjoy them. I think the humor is quite French. From what I understand, but yeah, it's it's apparently really funny, so I might actually take the time to get into them. I think they're pretty short, so it's cool. Yeah, it's a lot of like castle, um, maybe like toilet humor, maybe. Um, edition, kind 
kind of um, like how would you say it's like not part of the series oh look that's pretty I didn't notice that before it's like a special edition hors série oh, I don't know what that is in English sorry I've lost all my references this evening it's been a long day <laughs> what do you say like an like an out of series one like an extra I don't know I know what it is in French because I've just talked about it but I don't know what it is in English anyway this can be read like by itself but um, apparently all the references are to the first six comics so it is better to to know what's going on it's like a big um, special edition to finish the series so it would be a shame not to get it okay I really like the color of the cover I think it's really pretty very royal oh like even the little the back there with the painting it's so pretty yes so these are all the kind of traditionally French A4 uh, hardback comic type ones that I got the next one I have to show you I am super excited about I have not read this I have been waiting um, Hit Girl in Hong Kong or Hit Girl at Hong Kong and it is number 5 in the series the Hit Girl series I love these comics they are so fun and like really like punchy and just like you know the gore is so over the top that it's not really that gory if you know what I mean I'm just loving them so much such a lovely series I love the artwork I love the style of it just like revenge massacre <laughs> each time but they're really good no big deal let me just read the back I don't want to have any like violent <laughs> images on the videos hit girl face à la triade Hit girl um, face to face with the triad. Mindy poursuit son tour du monde dans le sud de la Chine. Sa mission anéantir la triad de la famille Lui ou Li Liu. Yeah, probably Liu. Um, anéantir, anéantir. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, it's a verb anyway. Um, so Mindy is following her tour of the world. Um, so the next step is the south of China. Her mission is to, I think, get rid of, like kill, get rid of the family, the trio from the Li, Li family. <laughs> sorry. So Pour commencer, Hit Girl doit éliminer Boss Lui. To start, Hit Girl has to eliminate the Lui, Liu Boss. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sorry. Ce chef sanguinaire d'un clan mafieux prospère grâce à, à diverses activités répréhensibles. Répréhensibles. Trafic d'armes et de drogues, enlèvement, extorsion blanchiment d'argent so um, 
this boss, this bloody boss, like bloody as in blood, not like, oh darn it, bloody boss, <laughs> um, of this mafia clan, um, prospers thanks to diverse activities that are awful, like, um, drug trafficking, weapon trafficking, kidnappings, extortions, um, wash it, no, <laughs> darn it, with money, <laughs> what do you call it, uh, washing, whitening, mm -hmm. laundering, there we go, <laughs> in English it's, uh, in French it's money whitening, so it's laundering, you know, donc il opère dans toute la Chine continentale, in the Sudest Asiatic. So he operates all, in all of the Chinese continent and the south of Asia. Mais dans ce monde corrompu, les apparences sont souvent trompeuses. But in this corrupt world, appearances can be deceiving. Mindy devra trouver des alliés dans, le, dans les bas-fonds de Hong Kong si elle veut avoir une chance de vaincre le gang de Boss Liu. So, Mindy has to find allies in the deep. Mm. Bafo would be like really like the low down dirty places of Hong Kong. If she wants, um, if she wants to have a chance at beating the gang and the boss. Or boss you is the gang. She, she wants to beat the gang off. Boss Liu's gang. <laughs> so the scenarist, the scenarist, scenarist is Daniel Wei, um, who's the same for Deadpool. And Gran Parlov, which is the. Um, is the artist for Punisher Max on yeah. It's cool. This could actually be quite a nice video if I just get the whole set of these and just read the backs, some tracing and stuff. Okay, because I have the next one too. <laughs> so that was number five in Hong Kong, and number six is in India, so that could be interesting. Edgar Oland, Peter Milligan, and Alison Sampson. So I don't know if you know, but they have different singer, like um, different writers and different artists for pretty much all of them. So I don't know if um, any artists or writers have um, done more than one. I don't know if the color person is the same each time. Hold on. So yeah, scenario, different person, artists, all oh, colors are different people too. Translation is the same, and the writing, so the words, studio ran. Okay. So, I mean, there are some differences each time. I guess they use their own color guy. Oh. So, you can see even the colors are different. Like just getting into um, each country or each city and stuff. They have like a different aesthetic. I like them all, just for different reasons. Yeah, the colors in this one are a lot more like muted and brown toned, which goes kind of with India. With these lovely pops of green and yellow and red. And then the Hong Kong one is more like almost pop, you know, more pop colors. Like kind of cooler, 
your own life. 